going on guys and fellow freelancers it is xp king here and welcome back to the channel and oh my god the update has just dropped this is not an update video though i'm not going to be talking about patch notes or whatnot uh, i'm just literally going to be showcasing sort of my storm now which has been affected by the update so yes i am going to be talking a little bit about the update of course because it has just been updated and the patch notes have been released and you can find them i will link them in the description below of course a lot has changed of course there's another one coming tuesday which i'll make a video on i've literally just finished editing a video of my storm build and i'll probably still upload it you know uh, but it's probably irrelevant now that this patch has actually came out you're probably thinking, you know, looking on the right hand side of the screen, 688, Masterwork Storm, you know, wow, he's halfway there, he's going to be a legendary storm. Uh, you know, it's, it's absolutely insane, guys, you know. Uh, all those people that were saying, oh, uh, the game is, is rubbish and whatnot, and uh, they've answered it. I've been playing some uh, legendary contracts, just free play. Uh, game seems a little bit smoother, and of course, the drops now. One of the big updates is, once you actually hit level 30, which is the cap, you will no longer get uncommon and common drops so it will only be rare uh, upwards so rare epic and masterwork and then of course legendary if you're lucky enough and so yeah this is my storm build of course i'm i'm yeah, i'm over the moon uh, with how it is uh, performing probably ready to go up to gm2 now because of the update uh, it's made you more viable in gm2 and of course gm3 is pushing it a little bit but of course you can let gear and get more powerful and then you'll probably be ready to take it on with a well organized team and yeah of course you need communication with gm3 anyway gm2 more is uh, about a build uh, which we currently have so i'm going to talk to you a little bit about that and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully you enjoy the update let me know your thoughts on the update so let's crack on guys and get into what my storm is all about so what they did guys they increased the power rating of our items of course now that we are level 13 maxed out so they were 45 now they're 61 so it's a massive increase uh, so that means more damage so this is the venomous blaze blast seal and it is outstanding guys the damage is incredible uh, so basically what it does and the text reads upgraded flame burst fire explosions hit target locations acid damage is applied to enemies after three consecutive hits and if you didn't know guys the acid effect what it actually does it sort of uh lowers the resistances on an enemy of course making them weaker and, and and more vulnerable to your attacks which is excellent because you're able to output more damage and of course for those stronger enemies it just it just makes it light work the stats also read that it is a 2239 with a 4 recharge and a radius of 5, which is nice. So, yeah, this is the Venomous Blaze, guys. Moving on to staple of the build, which is 10,000 Suns at 75 power now. It's 75. It was 47. Now it's gone to 75. So, damage is 2639, of course, fire element, and it is for recharge of 3 with a 6 radius. It's an upgraded burning orb, combo effect, chain, striker's wrath. And now what this does is after hitting an enemy, you gain a 5% increased damage for 5 seconds, stacks to 20 as well, which is pretty awesome. So if you combine the Venomous Blaze and the 10,000 Suns together, you're going to be outputting a massive amount of damage, you know. And of course, we've got some nice rolls in there as well with the shotgun, uh, plus 18% damage, 46% speed on your gear, and some nice little things there like the L1, 20% damage. So it is the staple of the build. It's a legendary focus seal. 10,000 Suns, guys. I'll probably end up calling this the 10,000 Suns Storm. Uh, which is kind of a cool name actually let me know what you guys think of that and i'm really excited i, I, I seem a bit like jumping and stuff it's a saturday i'm buzzing they've just dropped this update on us you know randomly i know the one was coming tuesday like midweek but this one has just been dropped some stability improvements and everything so i'm i'm just hyped so that is 10,000 suns and that is also another key part of the build guys so let's move on to the next thing okay guys so moving on to the weapons of course they've boosted everything so now the legendary is a 75 uh, this is the soothing touch, you know. I haven't actually tested it out too much. It's a legendary marksman rifle. The damage is 2182 RPM of uh, 180. It's probably better now that they've updated it because I was using it and it was a bit meh. Uh, of course, ammo 12, optimal range 45. Uh, the, the legendary marksman rifle has a, it's got great range, and I will tell you that. Like most marksman rifles, it has great range. The texture is upgraded anvil, hits hard with a slight kickback, strike is balanced. This is uh, hits reduced by uh, 30%. Uh, so you basically, it minuses your recoil and it stacks to three for 10 seconds. And of course there, we've got some nice rolls on it with 25% damage flat increase with gear plus 30% damage. So that's your gear. Uh, so that actually boosts 
uh, of course our Venomous Blaze and 10,000 Suns and of course then we get critical hit damage on it 52% which is quite a massive amount. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. So that's the soothing touch. That's all I've got to say for this weapon. Of course, I only got this to drop yesterday, I believe. So now that it's new and improved with this update, hopefully I'm going to be testing this out and it's going to do some work for me. I've made a guide video on this, guys. Showcase video. You know the Papa Pump. This is a pretty awesome weapon. Of course, I've actually put the wrong one on. I would do that, wouldn't I? Hold on a second. Let's just uh, let's sort that out. There is one that's... There we go. This one has elemental damage on it, of course, being a fire element build and element in general, elemental build in general, it's pretty awesome. 20% more damage, what, you know, 10% shotgun damage on there as well. It's pretty awesome. 247 damage, 75 RPM, ammo of 10 and optimal range of 15. You have to get up close and personal. I'll link it in the description below if you missed that showcase video. Moving on now, guys, to the components and basically the most important part of the build, really. Uh, so first up we got Token of the Master, this is of course the Master Warp, uh, Storm component. Armor reinforcement is 1492, shield reinforcement is at 2836. What it does is increases your blast damage and of course because of the 10,000 suns it does count as blast damage if you charge it up and of course Venom Splice is blast damage also. Uh, so what it does, like I say, 34% increase with your blast damage, hitting an enemy with an R1 increases your R1 damage by 60% for 5 seconds, so like I say, both of them together, your Venomous Blaze and your 10,000 Suns, you uh, knock that one off and then damage with the other one, just both works well together. Following up guys, we've got the Tome of Precision, which basically isn't an important part of this build, but because it's power 75 and gets us up to 688, I've put it in there, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but if you are going for an electric based build, uh, this is probably something you want to actually look at, and we were lucky enough to get this drop. Then we have Token of the Pupil, which is of course a great component to have on this build because it increases the number of combo chains by 2. And of course hitting an enemy uh, with an R1 increases your R1 damage for 6% for 5 seconds, which is always nice. The rolls on it aren't that great, but you know, hopefully in the future we can get some drops now that they've actually uh, fixed the loot system uh, a little bit. So now we have the Gunslinger's Mark, which was broken. It used to say 0%, and what this does is increases your gear recharge rate by 50% and lowers gear damage by minus 20%. Hovering increases all weak point damage by 6%. As we are the storm, we can hover forever, guys. We can just, just you know, hover above the field of play and just throw our fireballs, 10,000 suns, venomous blaze, and just have a lot of fun. 6% increase is a lot when you're hitting weak points. For those bosses, you know, you will see the, the gameplay part of this video, I'm telling you, Grandmaster 1, the tyrant, he doesn't, he just comes down and, and goes straight back up, comes down and goes straight back up. Add control is not even a problem anymore, it's just too easy guys, trust me. Next up we have Token of Daring as well, increases your elemental damage by 35% and decreases physical damage by minus 35%. We're not physical build, so it doesn't really uh, apply to us. If you was the Colossus then it would, but we are a fire based build, elemental. Shield break increases seal damage by 20% for 20 seconds, which is also nice for extra damage once you've broken the enemy shield. And last but not least guys, we go with Softened Blows, which is basically more for our survivability. It increases your Javelin Shield by a large amount. Increases damage resistance by 75% for 5 seconds when your shield runs out, which is convenient, of course, once that shield is broken. So we were lucky enough to get the rolls on this as well with 20% max shield and Marksman Rifle damage of 15%, uh, which is pretty good because we are going to be using Marksman Rifle. So guys, no more talking from me. You're going to be seeing gameplay. I've talked enough and broken down the build hopefully I've, I've give you the information and shown it off as well as i could and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and of course the gameplay section is going to be after i stop talking hopefully you guys are enjoying the content on the channel if you are new subscribe to the channel i will be posting anthem content daily and frequently of course leave a like on the video and comment your thoughts and guys i will catch you in the next one i've been xp king peace Hello.